How's it going guys? You are at the Ferris for Fitness YouTube channel and once again you're getting a quick look inside what my prep is looking like as far as uh, what I'm doing for my meals. So I'll just show you this this meal and I just want to just talk about um, some general general things about my prep. I have a few questions pulled up on my computer um, and then I wanted to give a quick shout out at the end of the video as well. So what I have here is really simple. This is my last meal of the day and the, the thing is um, for, I know this is probably a, a problem for a lot of people is that their energy expenditure from day to day kind of uh, is really different so you can take um, say for me for example I'm, I'm working a lot um, and also doing some stuff for my university um, about 10 hours a day Monday through Friday so I work about 50 hours a week sorry about that I work about 50 hours a week just doing uh, two different jobs really um, and I'm relatively active, but not like construction work or anything like that. Uh, but it's rel it's burning a lot more calories than say I would on a, on a weekend, which is probably typical for most people. You know, some people might go out with their families and and stuff like that. But it is a it is a possibility to really have a pretty dramatic uh, difference in ener energy expenditure each day. And what that means really for you is you should either maybe kind of up your intensity in your workouts, maybe add some add some cardio in on those days that you're just kind of sitting around or you're not as active, or also just eat less. And that's what I've been found uh, that I've been doing a little bit because I I'm trying to do about the least amount of cardio that I that I need to in order to see the the proper weight loss goals for me each week, and then I get at the end of the, the entire prep. Um, but yeah, I've, um, typically I'm around 2,500 calories. Uh, I would say Monday through Friday just because I am a little bit more active and I'm also weights doing uh, my four times a week lifting and cardio is usually about three or four times a week by now. Um, but instead of just kind of um, doing more on the weekends, I would say as far as in the gym, I choose to pretty much stay the same as far as my routine and then I'll just eat a little bit less. So today I ate about 2,200 calories, which is probably in the ballpark of the, the differential I get between energy expenditure. So just a quick tip for you guys. Um, and also, I'll just get to the foods here. This is, uh, maybe you guys can see that, not really. Um, but just a romaine lettuce, a serving of romaine lettuce with, um, I'm not even sure how much spinach. It's like a half an ounce of spinach. You would have, you have to eat a ton of spinach to really get um, a lot of calories. So I just throw a little bit in there. Again, helps with just being full. You also get some good uh, vitamins in there as well. And then right here, which you probably wouldn't expect, but you can you can see that it's looking good. Um, that's just a burger. I have eight ounces of uh, 93.7 ground beef. Also, just have some fat-free cheddar cheese on there. I'm a huge fan of the fat-free cheddar cheese or fat-free cheese in general. Um, it's just really it's really good to put on just about anything, and uh, it helps again with having good tasting food to keeping you sane when you're trying to to cut back on calories. Uh, and the bread I have is just some kind of generic bread, but it is uh, high in fiber, five slices each. Uh, I'm not sure the calorie count on that. And then I just have a, um, a diet soda here. I usually have probably four or five of those a week, almost, almost every day, but not a big deal. Um, just, I'm drinking constantly out of water and it, it helps a little bit. Um, so that's what all I wanted to talk about as far as the, this meal. Um, as, as far as me, I have seen 16 weeks out for my competition. Things are going really well right now. Just uh, some general things I can talk about. In the gym, I, I haven't lost a, a ton of strength. I'm pretty much where I was when I started my prep at 24 weeks out. There's about five or 10 pounds difference still. I think I've mentioned this in another video, but it's about a five or 10 pound fluctuation from then and now, especially on my, my core movements like barbell uh, bench press. Uh, barbell back squat those are just two things that you're going to kind of have to live with some some uh, decreases in strength but most of my accessory work and the other stuff that I do in the six to ten rep range you kind of plus is is really the same and I'm I'm still going with the same mentality that you know if I'm if I'm able to uh, lift more weight uh, progressive overload that I'm going for I'm not just going to hold back because I'm on I'm on contest prep or I'm trying to lose weight so I think that's a good attitude to have when you're trying to maintain as much muscle as you have and also maintain as much strength as you have. So that's that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. And again, I just these next 16 weeks, I, I really expect things to go to the next level as far as cutting back calories, as far as an increase in cardio. 
you know, I really, uh, maybe this is just a testament to um, my diet and that I'm not restricting things and then maybe a, another testament to training more intelligently, but I haven't really felt like I've hit a big wall. Again, I, I haven't dropped a ton of weight so far. I'm still going to make um, big changes in the next 16 weeks, so I'm definitely nowhere close near to uh, where I want to be, but uh, I just really haven't found a, a huge difficulty, I would say, uh, with the prep so far, but I, I really am anticipating, especially the next like four to six weeks, uh, picking things up or in the diet aspect, you know, dialing things down. Uh, but, but picking things up in general, uh, just to hope, you know, yield better results. Uh, I don't really have a, a goal uh, stepping on stage weight. You know, I, I really feel like if you try to do that, you're, you're probably not going to get lean enough. So I'm just going to, you know, uh, try to beat my goals every single week. Uh, look in the mirror. If I'm not lean enough, lose another pound or two, pound or two, pound or two, you know. I'm just going to keep doing that until I feel like I'm, I'm as lean as I possibly can be and hopefully give myself a, a few uh, weeks even in advance to the competition date to kind of play around with some, some peaking strategies. You know, it's not a huge thing to do. Um, a lot of people put too much emphasis on the peak week, but I want to try to try out some things to see how my body kind of reacts to higher carbohydrates and things like that. So and the last thing I want to talk about is the shout out. Um, I want to give a shout out to Ryan Doris, who I pretty much sure has no idea who I am. But Ryan Doris is a professional natural bodybuilder. I don't think that's really important. I've watched uh, I've watched his videos in the past, and I believe, unless I'm looking at really old footage, that he's actually going through prep right now. I'm not sure when his competition is, but I've, I've watched all of his stuff from like 2011, not when it was going on, but I just recently have seen that stuff. And uh, I've heard of him. I, I first saw him training with Josh Hyaduck, who's actually another natural pro. Um, but just, I mean, he doesn't do a lot of, you know, informative stuff and a lot of him training and things like that. He could, I mean, I've, I've seen him on, on camera squatting like five plates for, for no problem during contest prep. So he's a freak in that, in that uh, nature. And he's also just have a really impressive physique. If you want to check him out, most likely you've heard of him. Um, but what I talk about is he's just got a really a healthy mind state about the whole, you know, natural bodybuilding scene and just about life in general. So I, I really don't want to give you know personal examples. It's really his story to tell. But just uh, watching his videos, they're not necessarily motivating or, or inspiring, but it's just kind of refreshing to see someone with that kind of mentality. He's really a, just a genuinely humble person. Uh, just t he talks about that actually in one of his videos, and it's, it's just kind of refreshing to see someone that uh, that humble and that good of a person it seems you know I don't know him personally but just seems like a, a genuine good person that's in the fitness industry I don't think he like perpetuates any kind of BS about things and he doesn't claim to know all the answers about everything and stuff like that it's something I really respect as a, a guy out there who's, who's doing his thing he's also very successful at it so if you haven't heard of Ryan Doris I recommend checking him out if you just want uh, just just some good vlogs from a natural pro obviously got the credentials on there and again I just I couldn't say enough about just his mentality and how positive it is especially when you're getting ready for your own contest prep he really has good insights on all of that so that's the video guys uh, again 16 weeks out from the natural Kansas City Classic I want to thank you guys all for the support as always I should have some some videos coming up about training I filled those um, last night just some general tips about training hopefully we'll build upon that so thank you guys as always and I hope you guys are working hard